oh God. May you give us, my Father, the spirit of your knowledge, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that as we hear your word, oh God, may you open the eyes of our understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray tonight, oh God, that as we hear your word, my God and my Father, let your word bring change. Let your word transform our minds. Let your word, oh God, bring uh, understanding even in our hearts, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. My God, we want to pray that we shall not be destroyed due to lack of knowledge, but we pray tonight by your word, O God, may we find knowledge, may we find wisdom and understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we love, we exalt you, we magnify your name, O God, for your faithfulness in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Baba katika jina la Yesu tunakuinua tunakutukuza chioni ya leo. Asanti Bwana mara tena kwa nafasi hii umetupea. Tukaweze kukusanyika katika uwepo wako. Na jioni ya leo Bwana tunaomba ya kwamba katika jina la Yesu ukafungue mioyo yetu na masikio yetu kusikia kutoka kwako katika jina la Yesu. Wacha neno lako Bwana likafanyike nuru katika maisha yetu likafanyike eh, uh, taa katika miguu yetu katika jina la Yesu Bwana tunaomba jioni ya leo tunaposikia neno lako wacha Jehova tukafanywe huru katika jina la Yesu Bwana tunakushukuru tunakuinua Asanti Bwana Asanti Mungu wetu maana ni katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na kuamini Amen. Tupige Yesu makofi tunapoketi chini. Amen. Amen. Uh, tunashukuru Mungu jioni ya leo. Ningependa nafasi nichukue nafasi kuwakaribisha wanaotutazama online. Karibuni sana kwa ibada yetu ya katikati ya wiki. Na naamini ya kwamba Mungu atawazungumzia jioni ya leo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So nashukuru Mungu kwa nafasi hii jioni ya leo amenipea kusimama mbele yenu jioni ya leo na kuleta neno la Mungu. Bwana asifiwe. Pia nashukuru uh, our pastor for the opportunity he has given na, he has given me tonight to bring the word of God. Bwana asifiwe. Uh, jioni ya leo ningependa kuzungumzia kuhusu the believers walk. The believers walk. Tu, tusome Galatians chapter 5 verse 16 to 18. Galatians chapter 5. Uh, the Bible says, I say then walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. Wanesu asifiwe. Uh, Paul is telling us tonight that we should walk or we are supposed to walk in the spirit. Ili ya kwamba tusije, tuka zitimiza tamaza mwiri. Bwanesu wa sifiwe. So jioni ya leo nikependa kuzungumzia kuhusu the believers walk. Uh, the Christian walk is in is in daily living that that walk is it, the, sorry the christian walk is in is in daily living bonesu asifiwe ya kwamba maisha ya mkristo ama kutembea 
kwa Mkristo ama imani ya Mkristo ni ya kila siku. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sio ya muda fulani ama ya specific day. It, it, it is a daily living. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. In other words, lazima ikue uh, it must become our lifestyle to walk in the spirit. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So that walking walk, walking in the spirit is not limited to specific days of the of the week or only when we gather together with the fellow believers in other words maisha ya mkristo haija kuwa limited na a specific day kwa mfano jumapiri mwanesu asifiwe hatuitwi wa kristo siku ya jumapiri bali tunapaswa kubaki kuwa waaminio believers in all days bonesu asifiwe in all days of the week in other words we are not supposed to be called believers only when we gather together with fellow brethren hatupaswi kuitwa tu waaminio ama wa kristo wakati tumekusanyika kama siku ya leo Bonesu asifiwe. Yaani sasa tukitoka hapa tunaacha Ukristo wetu mahali hapa. Hapana, Paulo anatuambia kwamba we should walk daily in spirit. Bonesu asifiwe. Whether um, not only when we gather together, not only in a particular day or time but we should remain believers at all time bonesu asifiwe so we are believers all the times whether we are at home whether we are at work or whether we are interacting with the people we should remain to be believers of Jesus Christ bonesu asifiwe yani haijalishi mahali tuko haijalishi ni wapi uko ama ni siku gani Paulo anatuambia kwamba ni lazima tubaki kuwa waaminio haijalishi ni wapi tuko kama uko nyumbani ubaki kuwa muaminio kama uko kazini ubaki kuwa muaminio Bwana Yesu asifiwe as you interact with the people you remain to be a believer of Jesus Christ Bwana Yesu asifiwe hiyo ndio inamaanisha uh, walking in the spirit bonesu asifiwe so it is always important for believers to understand and know how to walk in the spirit paulo anapotuambia we should walk in the spirit anamaanisha nini ama analenga nini katika maisha ya mkristo bonesu asifiwe so we must ama the will of god for every believer is to remain or is to walk in the spirit at all times bonesu asifiwe ndio maana paulo anatuambia in galatians chapter 3 verse 26 to 27 galatians chapter 3 verse 26 to 27 bible say for you are all signs for you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Bonesu asifiwe. Paul anaelezea kwamba we become ama tunafanyika wana wa Mungu kupitia kwa imani. Bonesu asifiwe. In other words, we become children of God by faith. Bonesu asifiwe. At salvation, one receives the indwelling of the spirit that becomes our new identity in Christ. Bonesu asifiwe. Wakati mtu anampokea Kristo Yesu ama anapokea kipawa cha wokovu, basi anafanyika mwana wa mungu na roho wa mungu anapata nafasi katika maisha yetu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. 
na hiyo inatufanya tunafanyika ama watu wapya ndani ya Kristo Yesu in other words that becomes our nature in Christ bwana Yesu asifiwe inakuwa our nature in Christ as believers when we receive Jesus Christ when we receive salvation the spirit of god in dwells in us and we receive a new identity in Christ bwana Yesu asifiwe na ndio na hapo ndio paulo anatuambia that we should walk in the spirit because Christ dwells in us. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ukipata mtu hatembei katika roho inamaanisha ya kwamba Kristo hayuko ndani yake. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. But when Christ lives in us he will help us to walk in the spirit. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So one of the one of the walk of a believer the believers of walk one of them is is to uh wacha nizungumzie moja ni walking in the spirit wacha tuangalie kwa undani paulo anamaanisha nini akituambia that let us walk in the spirit so that we may not fulfill the desires of the flesh bwana yesu asifiwe so when paul tells us to walk in the spirit it means that that walking in your nature that is who we are bwana yesu asifiwe sasa tulipopokea kristo yesu tumeona ya kwamba we become or we receive a new identity in christ now we are not living in the flesh but we are living in the spirit bwana yesu asifiwe so when we walk in the spirit it means that we are walking in our nature that that is we are walking we, uh, that is who we are in christ that is how we operate as believers bwana yesu asifiwe vile tulivyo ndani ya kristo hapo ndipo tunafanya kazi kama waaminio so believers in Christ don't operate in the flesh but in the spirit bwana yesu asifiwe so every person ambaye amempokea kristo yesu kama bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yake they no longer operate in the flesh but they operate in the spirit bwana yesu asifiwe in other words we are not carnal but we are spiritual bwana yesu asifiwe ya kwamba sisi sasa hatutembei katika mwili bali tunatembea katika roho ndipo sa paulo anasema in romans chapter 8 verse 5 romans chapter 8 verse 5 to 9 for those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh but those who live according to the spirit the things of the spirit bwana yesu asifiwe paulo anasema wale ambao wanatembea katika mwili wanaweka mawazo yao kwa mambo ya mwili bali wanao tembea katika roho they put their things in the spirit verse 6 for to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace because the carnal mind is enmity against god for it is not subject to the law of god nor indeed can be so then those who are in the flesh cannot please god but you are not in the flesh but in the spirit if indeed the spirit of god dwells in you now if anyone does not have the spirit of christ he is not his bwana yesu asifiwe tumeona uh, wakati mtu anampokea kristo yesu tumeona ya kwamba he become a new ama he receives a new identity na maandiko inasema ya kwamba 
if indeed the Spirit of God dwells in you, Bon Yesu asifiwe, now if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he is not his. So, when we as believers don't walk in the Spirit, it means that the Spirit of Christ is not dwelling in us. Ya kwamba hatutembei katika roho, bali tunatembea katika mwiri. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na ndipo sa Paulo anatuambia kwamba tutembe katika mwiri. Tusije tuka uh, sorry tutembe katika roho, tusije tukatawaliwa na mwiri. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Amen. So when Paul writes about walking in the spirit, he meant he meant to act upon who we are in Christ and behaving according to who we are in Christ. So when we walk in the spirit, we behave according to whom we are in Christ. Boneso asifiwe, tunapotembea katika roho, tuna behave kama vile Kristo anaka. Boneso asifiwe, or uh, or we act upon who we are in Christ. Tunafanya kazi kulingana na jinsi tulivyo ndani ya Kristo Yesu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So unapopata a believer ambaye hatembei katika roho basi hana ufahamu. He or she doesn't have an understanding of whom he is or she is in Christ or his or her identity in Christ. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. But tukiwa na ufahamu sisi ni nani ndani ya Kristo Yesu basi tutatembea kulingana na roho. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na tumeona ya kwamba sisi ni wana we are uh, we are the children of God or we are the sons of God. And that is why we ought to walk in the spirit. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So believers walk is walking in our true identity kama vile tumesema na walking in the spirit is not emotional eh? kutembea katika roho haina feelings ama hain, ama is not emotional bwana yesu asifiwe or continuous singing eh? ukipata mtu anaimba sana haimaanishi anatembea katika roho but walking in the spirit is by daily yielding to the word of God and doing the word of God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kutembea katika roho sio kuimba sana ama kuwa emotional, eh, unalia. That doesn't mean that we walk in the spirit ama kuomba sana. But walking in the spirit is by yielding to the word of God and doing the word of God. Ni kunyenyekea chini ya neno la Mungu na kufanyisha kazi neno la Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Neno la Mungu linasema nini? As believers, tunapo nyenyekea chini ya neno la Mungu, hiyo inamaanisha that we are walking in the spirit. Kama vile Yakobo anatuambia James chapter 1 verse 22 to 25 James chapter 1 verse 22 to 25 the bible says but be doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving yourselves aha uh -huh, 23 for if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer he is like a man observing his natural face in a mirror for he observes in himself, goes away and immediately forget what kind of man he was. 25. But he who looks into the perfect law of liberty and continues in it and is not a forgetful hearer but a doer of the work, this one will be blessed in what he does. Bonesu asifiwe. Ah... 
Yakobo anatuambia kwamba tusikuwe tu watu wa kusikia neno bali tuwe watu wa kulifanyisha hilo neno kazi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Let us be doers of the word of God, not just hearing, but even putting the word of God into action. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. That is uh, what it means by walking in the spirit, yielding to the word of God and doing the word of God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ni nini neno la Mungu linatuambia tufanye? Ama ni neno ni nini neno la Mungu linatuongoza tufanye? Tunapo kuwa watenda kazi wa neno. Ama tunapofanyisha neno la Mungu kazi, basi tunajua nafasi yetu katika Kristo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So disobedience to the word of God is living contrary to your true nature in Christ. When we disobey the word of God, it goes contrary, inenda kinyume na your true identity in Christ. Anytime tunajipata as believers, ya kwamba hatuti, hatuti we, don't, we don't obey the word of God, it means that we go or we live contrary to th- to our true identity in Christ. Ya kwamba hatujui nafasi yetu ndani ya Kristo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So kuanzia leo Mungu akatusaidie ya kwamba we shall be doers of the word. Ya kwamba we shall obey the word of God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na hiyo itaonyesha ya kwamba we know our place in Christ. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. So as believers, let us obey the word of God. Let us obey what the word of God is telling us. When our daily activities are under the influence or inspired by the word of God, we are living in the spirit. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wakati shughuli zetu za kila siku zinakuwa influenced or inspired by the word of God it means that we are walking in the spirit Bwana Yesu asifiwe our daily activities our choices our judgments and our actions are in the spirit or should be in the spirit Bwana asifiwe kile unaamua kufanya kama muaminio vile una hukumu watu vile unafanya you, 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 uh, how you act in your daily activities it will tell us whether we are walking in the spirit or walking in the flesh bwana yesu asifiwe so ile uamuzi vile tunaishi na wengine vile tunaishi in the society how we make choices how we make decisions it will tell us or it will determine whether we are walking in the spirit or not bwana yesu asifiwe but today wacha tumwamini mungu ama mungu akatusaidie that our daily activities should be influenced or inspired by the word of god bwana yesu asifiwe Turudi kwa neno la Mungu tuangalie neno la Mungu linasema nini kuhusiana na ile uamuzi ambao unafanya neno la Mungu linasema nini kuhusiana na the action you want to take or the what is the ama neno la Mungu linasema nini kuhusu na the judgment you want to take as a believer Bwana Yesu asifiwe that will determine whether we are walking in the spirit or not. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So Mungu akatusaidie as believers that let us make our choices, our actions and our judgments in the spirit. Bwana asifiwe. Tusikilize Mungu ama roho anasema nini kuhusu lile jambo unataka kufanya. 
Pengine unataka kufungua biashara. Pengine unataka kufanya jambo fulani katika maisha yako. When you walk in the spirit, you will not make the wrong decisions. Bwana asifiwe. Hautafanya uamuzi mbaya. Hautafanya uh, uchaguzi mbaya unapotembea katika roho. Bwana asifiwe. So it means that we cannot claim to be walking in the spirit and be doing things contrary to the word of God. Hatuwezi sema ya kwamba tunatembea katika roho na ilhali tunaenda kinyume na neno la Mungu. Bwana asifiwe. In other words, hatuwezi kuwa tunafanya kinyume na neno la Mungu na kisha tuseme tunatembea katika roho. Kwa maana tunajua ya kwamba roho wa Mungu haudanganyi. Bwana asifiwe. Roho wa Mungu haujachanganyikiwa. So, when we do contrary to the word of God, that means that we are walking in the flesh. Bwana asifiwe tunatawaliwa na mwili kwa sababu hatutembei ama hatu ama tunafanya kinyume na neno la Mungu bwana asifiwe so as believers let us walk in the spirit let us depend on the word of god bwana asifiwe kwa maana neno la Mungu ni roho wa Mungu bwana asifiwe and when we do contrary to the word of god it means that we are uh, we are walking in the flesh diposa uh, second uh, timothy 3:16 inasema second timothy second timothy 3:16 all scripture is given by inspired inspiration of god and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for correction for instruction in righteousness bwana asifiwe maandiko inasema ya kwamba all scripture is given by inspiration of god ya ama maandiko yote imetokana na roho wa mungu bwana asifiwe the word of god is the spirit of god it is the mind of god and when we go contrary to the word of god it means that we are walking in the flesh bwana yesu asifiwe so so tumesema ya kwamba when we go contrary to the word of god ah uh, tumeona ya kwamba tunaposema ya kwamba tunatembea katika mwili na ilhali tuko kinyume na neno la mungu it because god's word is god wa, god's word is spirit inspired is spirit inspired bwana yesu asifiwe living by the word of god is living in the spirit when we live in the word of god it means that we are living in the spirit bwana asifiwe so jioni ya leo let us purpose as believers that we shall live according to the word of god that we shall live in the word of god we shall walk in the spirit so that we might not fulfill the desires of the flesh so every believer has the capacity to walk in the spirit because that is who we are in christ kira muaminio kira mmoja wetu ambaye amempokea Kristo Yesu ako na uwezo ya kutembea katika roho Bwana Yesu asifiwe because that is who we are in Christ we carry the nature of Christ na ndio ndiposa Biblia inasema uh, ukisoma kwa John 14 hapo inasema ya kwamba uh, as Christ is so we are in this world Bwana Yesu asifiwe. In other words, as believers, we must reflect Christ, Christ in our daily lives. Ya kwamba 
watu wanapasa kuona Kristo Yesu katika maisha yetu ya kwamba katika biashara yako watu wamuone Kristo katika huduma yako watu wamuone Kristo Bwana Yesu asifiwe katika ile uamuzi unafanya wacha iwe uamuzi ambao inaongozwa na roho Bwana asifiwe kama waaminio mapenzi ya Mungu ni tufanye uamuzi ama tutembee kulingana na roho wa Mungu inadha watu napotembea katika mwili basi Mungu hataonekana katika maisha yetu Bwana Yesu asifiwe so that is hiyo ndio inamaanisha wakati Paul anaandikia kanisa la Wagalatia ya kwamba let us walk in the spirit so that we might not fulfill the desires of the flesh Bwana Yesu asifiwe so jioni ya leo ningependa kusimamia hapo tukipata nafasi nyingine tutaendelea na kutazama mambo mengine ambao inaongelea kuhusu the believers walk Bwana Yesu asifiwe but tujue leo unaposoma maandiko na iseme ya kwamba let us walk in the spirit it means ya kwamba uh, we partake the nature of Christ Bwana Yesu asifiwe we partake or we have our true identity in Christ Bwana Yesu asifiwe and we live by the word of God in whatever choices we make the decision the judgment we make let us make them by the spirit of God because that is who we are in Christ Jesus Bwana Yesu asifiwe so tupige makofi tunapomkaribisha mchungaji katika jina la Yesu Amen Amen Bwana asifiwe sana Bwana Yesu asifiwe as a believer you walk in the spirit bwana asifiwe sana kuna kitu kinakutofautisha na mtu wa dunia na hiyo ni roho wa Mungu ndio Yesu akaambia wanafunzi wake Musitoke Jerusalem mpaka mutakapo chazwa na Roho Mtakatifu kwa maana bila Roho Mtakatifu mutatenda mambo katika mwili Bwana asifiwe sana tunaona Petero wakati Yesu anashikwa anachukua upanga anakata askari wa Kiroma masikio praise the name of Jesus he is not acting in the spirit he is acting in the flesh na njia ya kutembea in the spirit is through the word paulo anasema let the word of god dwell in you richly it is the word of god that will produce the character of god in you praise the name of jesus it is what you feed that makes you if you feed in the things of the flesh you will walk in the flesh bwana asifiwe sana ukilisha mwili sana bwana asifiwe sana mwili uta manifest kwa maisha yako na kitabu cha wagaratia kinatuambia tabia za mtu anayetembea katika mwili kuna tabia na pia inatuonyesha mtu ambaye anatembea katika roho tabia zake ni gani but what brings the difference is what you feed on amen may the lord give us an appetite to feed on the word that we may walk in the spirit praise the name of jesus it will not just come it will come depending on your feeding habits depending on how you nourish 
the spiritual man so that the character of Christ is built in us. Praise the name of Jesus. Nataka tusimame tumwambie Mungu, nipe appetite, nipe tamaa ya neno lako ili neno lako likanisaidie kutembea katika roho katika jina la Yesu Kristo that your word will destroy the passions of the flesh that every character that is manifested in me in the in the flesh every character of the flesh that manifests in me may be destroyed by the deposit of your word shall be overcome by the indwelling of your word in me in the name of Jesus Christ make me a passionate student of your word O oh God make me desire to grow in the spirit even as I grow in your word in the name of Jesus Christ, give me the appetite to feed my spiritual man with the spiritual food that will produce the character of Christ in me. In the name of Jesus Christ, nina kata kira matunda ya mwili, nda katika maisha yangu, nina kata mazao ya hasira, nina kata mazao ya usinzi, nina kata baba kira masao. Ya, has, ya mwili katika maisha yangu katika jina la Yesu wivu na chuki haitakuwa sehemu yangu lakini leo ninaomba kupitia kwa the indwelling of your word let the character of the spirit be produced in me my father the spirit of patience the spirit of love the spirit of self control I pray in the name of Jesus that that character of the spirit will be manifested in me that I will display the nature of Christ in my actions, in my decisions, in my behavior, in the mighty name of Jesus, that the character of Christ will be evident in my life, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray, O oh God in heaven, let everything that brings shame to your name in my life crash tonight. Be destroyed tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray, oh God, everything that brings honor to your holy name through my life, let it take preeminence over my life in the name of Jesus. I give you glory. I give you honor. I give you all the majesty. Even as I surrender and as I yield to the control of your word in my life, to the glory and for the honor of your name, receive all the praise, receive all the glory, receive all the honor, be exalted our Father, be magnified our God, there is no one like you, I love your holy name, I exalt your holy name, I praise your holy name. For tonight, oh God, I receive the desire and the appetite and the cleaving of your word in me that the character of Christ may be molded in my life every step I take to the glory and honor of your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Receive uh, the appetite for the word, the cleaving for the word. Even as a young child uh, craves the milk of the mother, receive the cleaving of the word of God. That the word of God may produce the character of God in you, in the mighty name of Jesus. That you may start walking uh, no more in the flesh, but in the spirit, uh, to the glory and honor of our Lord Jesus Christ. I give you honor, our Father, and I give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Appreciate our God with a clap offering. Amen. Let people look at you and say, this one is a Christian. Because you are walking in the Spirit. Amen. You are able to exercise. Huh? Things that display 
you are producing the fruit of the spirit. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. And it comes in a simple way. Sio kwa isia. Sio kwa vila naanza kusema. Ah ah. Is the character you produce. Unaeza fanya yo mazinga umbe yot. Lakini ni umwili. Amen. Mwili. Ndiyo una display. Lakini matunda. Yaro mtakatifu. Yazalike ndani yako. In Jesus name. Appreciate the Lord with that clap offering. We want to say thank you to those who have joined us tonight. May the Lord help you to walk in the spirit. And receive also the appetite for the word. And the desire for the word of God in your life. In Jesus mighty name. And just before we let you go. We want to present to you an opportunity. Those who are here you may be seated. We want to present to you an opportunity to honor God. With your giving tonight. To honor God with your giving. We present to you our pay bill. We present to you uh, even the account number right on your screen. Beautiful. Take that number. Let's honor God with our giving tonight in the name of Jesus. Giving is also uh, walking in the spirit. Praise the name of Jesus. Holding more than is due. is walking in the fresh. Walking in unnecessary fear. Giving is a display that I believe in God. That is my provider. That he is my sustenance. I, I, I don't live by, by what I hold on to. But by the provision of God. And you do that through your giving. That is a continuous way of trusting in God. For his provision. 340754. Account number your name. And until this coming Sunday when we join up again. The Lord bless you. The Lord be with you. And may you walk in the spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's appreciate our viewers.